सो हेलो गाइड्स आज हम स्टार्ट करने वाले हैं कुछ क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स व्हिच वी हैव डन ऑन द ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन विंड स्लो एंड रेलिजन स्लो एंड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव डन ग्रुप वेलोसिटी एंड फेज वेलोसिटी वेरी बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड इम्पोर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द नेट एंड हाइट इज जेम ओके सो फॉर द लाइक इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी विल यूज दिस पास्ट फोर लेक्चर कॉन्सेप्ट एंड सोल दिस क्वेश्चन दिस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड दिज आर दिज आर आस्ट इन द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो प्रीवियस ईयर एग्जामिनेशन लाइक नेट एंड जेम ओके सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैड कंसिडर टू ब्लैक बॉडीज परफेक्ट ब्लैक बॉडी इज विद रेडियस आर वन एंड आर टू सो एट टी वन टेम्परेचर एंड टी टू टेम्परेचर इट इज गिवन एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द रेस ऑफ रेडियस ओके सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग ओके यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इंटेंसिटी इज मैन वट इज द इंटेंसिटी तो इंटेंसिटी इज जनरली एप्स एनर्जी अपॉन एरिया इन टू टाइम बट यू नो वन मोर थिंग दैट एनर्जी अपॉन टाइम इज इक्वल टू पावर अपॉन एरिया ओके दिस इज इक्वल टू पावर अपॉन एरिया सो वी नो फ्रॉम द ब्लैक बॉडी दैट इंटेंसिटी जो होती है किसी भी ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन की दैट इज प्रपोर्शनल टू टी टू दी पावर फोर सो फ्रॉम हियर वी कैन सी द पावर इज प्रपोर्शनल टू टी टू दी पावर फोर इन टू एरिया सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव गिवन लाइक टू ब्लैक बॉडीज ओके परफेक्ट ब्लैक बॉडी सो वी से दैट पावर ऑफ द टू ब्लैक बॉडीज आर द सेम एयर सो देर शुड बी अ कॉन्सेंट वी आर वी आर कैंसल द कॉन्सेंट विल बी कैंसल आउट एंड देर शुड बी टी वन फोर ए वन इन इक्वल टू टी टू फोर एंड ए टू ओके सो इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप टी वन फोर वी हैव गिवन ओके वी हैव टू फाइंड द रेसियो of the r1 and r2 so on black bodies are uh, we are considering in a sphere generally if uh, then that is non given that is means the black body is in the shape of a sphere so what is the area of the sphere t14 into 4 pi r1 square t24 4 pi r2 square very simple now you will say that what is the ratio of r1 uh, upon r2 You can see r1 square upon r2 square is equal to t to the power four over t1 to the power four. Very simple, okay. So because four pi four pi cancelled, so what is the ratio of r1 and r2? And r1 and r2 is given t2 over t1 to the power two, which is t2 is two thousand and t1 is one thousand and to the power two, which means that is four. So here the answer is r1 upon r2 means four. So the first question is solved. Okay, so and we are going to next question. Okay, and the next question, but we have asked. Okay, let's see. Uh, one second. And uh, so in the next question, it's saying that the in radiation emitted by black body, in the ratio of the spectral density at two new and new frequencies vary. And okay, so we have to uh, Check that what is the ratio of energy spectral energy density? The spectral energy density is uh, represented by u of nu. Okay, so what is the uh, expression of u nu? You know that is eight pi h nu q over c q and e to the power h nu over k t minus one. Okay, that's very simple expression. And you should remember this. This is very helpful in the like uh, religion's law and wind's law. It which is very um, famous expression of okay, energy density. So We will use this. This is for energy and uh, frequency nu, and we are calculating for frequency two nu. Okay. So what is the frequency two nu ratio? That is the uh, like uh, very simple. Eight pi edge of two nu cube there upon c cube into the power two edge nu over k t minus one. Okay. So when we divide u two nu by u nu, what will we get? We will get there is an int eight. Eight factor, and after that, all the terms will be cancelled. So in the above expression, we we will get eight into k to the power h nu over k t minus one divided by we will get k to the power two h nu over k t minus one. It is very simple to understand here yeah, that we know that a is square minus b square is simply a minus b into a plus b. Okay, so I uh, you can see here that e is Square like e h nu upon k t is square then minus one square so we can say this is equal to a of e h nu over k t minus one divided by e h nu over k t minus one into e h nu over k t 
plus 1. Okay, we have done this, we have used this formula and after that we will write this term and this term is cancelled. So, we have the answer 8 upon exponent of h new over k t plus 1. That's the final answer of the energy density ratio, spectral energy density ratio with respect to frequency to and new. Okay, so in the next question we will see the important question that is asked in many times. This is very important question. Because this is a well-known question from me that you have to omega and k ka relation kuch diye diye hai and then you have to ask what is the phase velocity, what is the group velocity. Okay, so you should remember. Okay, we are solving the first question first. Uh, what is the um, formula of phase velocity? Omega by k. Very simple. What is the formula of group velocity? d omega over dq. Okay, we are solving this in single phase. So, let me and uh, this correct over. So, what is the VP here? You can say VP is simply omega is given root G K and divided by K. So, we will get root G over root K. This is phase velocity for the first expression and group velocity is what? We will uh, derivate this, this expression we will derivate. Okay. So, D over DK of root G of K so you should know like root g is constant here root g is constant and root k derivative is 1 upon 2 root k very simple 1 upon 2 root k so what we will get here 1 upon 2 root g by k so we can say here vg is equal to 1 upon 2 into vp so this is the relation between the vg and vp okay so first question is that the next question we will find this okay so right so we are finding the next Question which is omega is square c is square k is square plus omega naught to be square. So understand one thing here. First of all, VP is what omega by k. Simply we will write omega by k and divide by omega and divide by k. Okay. So let me see. And uh, VP is equal to omega by k. So we will find this omega omega c square k square plus omega naught square upon k. This is VP. And what is the VG group velocity? Group velocity is d omega over dk. So for that we will derivate this thing. Okay. So to derivate this. Okay. First of all, uh, I will be like in easy form. I can derivate this directly by root taking, but I'm not doing this. I'm doing omega square c square k square plus omega naught square. That is constant. So two omega d omega is equal to two c dk into k okay f over that and then 0 plus into 0 so what is the d omega over dk here you can see d omega over dk is simply c square into k divided by omega so you know k upon omega is what vp right you know vp is what like vp is omega over k we have to find the relation actually so vp is omega by k so we can k upon omega is what c square over Vp, very simple. So what is the relation between this is Vm, this is Vz, and this is c square upon Vp. So the relation between group velocity and phase velocity is this. Okay, this is correct. Okay, now in the next question we have given a photon, a, a proton. Okay, so a proton is twice of alpha particle wavelength. Okay, we have given the wavelength of proton is twice. So what is the wavelength expression? You should remember that wavelength is equal to h upon root 2 times mass of proton the proton I am writing mass of proton and energy of proton simply kinetic energy of proton for the alpha particles same thing h upon root 2 times mass of alpha e of alpha ok so understand one thing here we have to find the ep over e alpha ratio ok for that what we will do here Let's see one thing. So we have given that lambda p is equal to two times lambda alpha. So we will put the expression. So h upon root two m p p is equal to two h four root two m alpha e alpha. Okay. So from here you can see one thing. H as is cancelled and mass of proton and mass of alpha particle. What is the relation between them? Okay, we know uh, that one thing <coughs> mass of each, uh, first we will 
a square this term okay it will be easy to understand 2 and p ep it is equal to 4 and alpha e alpha from here we can say ep over e alpha is and equal to what ep over e alpha now so that will be m alpha over m p and 2 and by 4 okay so what is the m alpha upon m m p we know that mass of alpha particle is 4 times mass of proton so we will put here 4 then to 1 by 4 that is equal to 1 we know that e p over e alpha is equal to 1 very easy question okay the rest of it find out <coughs> we'll, we have last question and this is very important it is on the based on the refractive index concept okay so we have seen the refractive index concept if you not seen then you can find also okay that's not so complicated okay so first of all you should remember one thing the what is the vp here phase velocity is simply the c by n okay phase velocity is c by n we know now that uh, like this is velocity of light this is the sx refractive index that is called the phase velocity so for now vp is equal to c upon n expression we have given 1 minus omega over omega notice where this we have given this is not vb okay at omega O H equal to omega naught by 2 what is the vp we can calculate c upon 1 minus here we put the omega omega naught upon 2 so it will become 1 by 4 and this will be 4 by 3 c okay now next for vz so vz is equal to you know c upon n plus omega d n over d omega so in this expression we want d n over d omega that we don't know so we will say like this okay from n is equal to and 1 minus omega over omega naught square so what is the dn over d omega here that is simply minus of 2 omega over omega naught square okay so we will calculate here and the uh, vz okay so what is the vz here you can say vz is c over n plus omega dn over d omega now c over n plus like n uh, we will write the n expression here directly you can in a minute okay so what is the n expression we know one second one second so n is equal to 1 minus omega over omega naught square and the minus uh, because here is the minus so minus plus is minus 2 omega over omega naught is square and that is omega is multiplied for omega so it will become c upon 1 minus omega 3 omega squared over omega naught squared what is the omega upon omega naught so we will know omega is equal to omega naught by 2 that omega is equal to omega naught by 2 it will become c upon 1 minus d by 4 so we have 4 c okay so vz is equal to 4 c so basically and uh, we have the relation here vz over vq so vz we got with 4 c and vp we got 4 by 3 c so from here we can see 4c 4c cancel and 3 is left so the ratio of vz and vp and group and phase velocity is equal to 3 so i hope you understand these questions these are very helpful questions and you can in see that i taken two questions from black body two questions from this uh, group velocity and uh, phase velocity concept and one is from uh, like an uh, energy spectral density something so they are very important concepts so revise that concepts in the previous lecture which i have told and these questions are also useful you can solve these and i will provide you the question list and the question dpp also in the description okay so you can solve them and if you have any doubt you can ask me at any time okay by the comment or by an 